Hi, Isha this side from EQ Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Mr. Weber with us from Rays. Hello, sir. Hi. Welcome to EQ. Uh, sir, can you just let us know about Rays? Like, uh, wh what are the technologies under Rays you have come up here? So, um, see, in Rays Power, we are we started as EPC company, as everyone knows, and uh, uh, in the last eight years, we have done about 600 odd megawatt. Right, and we have another 400 in pipelines. So we are touching a gigawatt in uh, open access and grid scale projects, and now we are also uh, venturing into floating solar projects and uh, storage and hybrid. Right. So the idea now going forward is while we build upon our EPC uh, business, uh, we would also like to leverage upon our uh, project development expertise that we have gathered over these years in various states because we have done projects in about uh, 10 odd states. Right, so we understand them. Right, so we're going to leverage that, and uh, we'll get into uh, you know either we bid ourselves or we get into some kind of a pre-bid tie-up so that we do large-scale projects, right, uh, from grid perspective, and also look at those uh, storage-based projects which are going to come up, and I think that's the future. If we talk in terms of technology, so how it differs uh, from others? Uh, so from a technology perspective, uh, what we have done is, uh, you know, primarily solar because floating is more about uh, manufacturing the floating base, right? So, but storage requires a lot of engineering by itself because you really need to size the batteries. So what we have done is we have put up a small team internally, which is going to now take up this study about, you know, what kind of batteries we can use and what, how to size those batteries, synchronize them with the solar for different users right which could be from from a grid perspective so whether we you know you give power from 6 to 6 or 24 7 or just to ensure that the grid safety is maintained uh, maintain the ramp rates etc so all that is being done so that is a small team that is going to do and we hope that we will come up with uh, you know some solution around that so that when storage really picks up in india we would be ready so it's been good time like you are into the same industry so uh, how's the demand uh, of rays in the market see demand is good uh, but competition is tight right so yeah we have to uh, yeah we just have to keep on our toes and ensure that we keep doing good business and we keep getting uh, repeat clients i think that's the way forward and we keep uh, updating ourselves as to what's really happening in the market we wish all the best for that and moreover uh, like for 2018 and 19 what all like uh, you have supplied till now and what's the uh, project that are in pipeline for 2020 so 18 19 uh, was also a decent year for us we did uh, we did two projects and uh, and uh, s uh, we also got our first international project in vietnam which was a 50 megawatt we commissioned that in uh, june Right, and uh, this year we are uh, commissioning uh, about another 200 megawatts. Right, um, and we have a very healthy pipeline of another 300 megawatts, which gets uh, commissioned uh, in the next financial year, which is 2021. So we are uh, good visibility for the next two years. We see ourselves to be healthy, financially stable, and uh, yeah, getting around uh, with new technology and hopefully getting more business. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot for. Thanks for your time. Thank you.